What do I mean by nostalgic Roblox games? Well, I recently made a video talking about the first Roblox game I ever played, which is this one I'm in right now, and there were a surprising amount of people in the comments that actually remember playing this game. But there were also a lot of comments from people who were sharing their own first Roblox games that they ever played. So I'm going to be going through some of those here today, try and see how many of these you know. And yeah, we're going to be starting off with uh, Natural Disaster Survival, because this was by far the most common answer on my uh, community post about this video which makes a lot of sense because this game's always been popular. It hasn't really changed that much over the years, but I don't know if it really needs to. I'm also going to be using Retro Studio for a few of the games in this video. If you don't know what that is, it basically just simulates older Roblox versions. And yeah, that's just an easy victory right there. Dude, look at this guy's outfit. Does that say One Direction on it? It does. He's got an epic face shirt with fire pants, Disney XD llama, and then One Direction Minions t-shirt. I don't think you could come up with a better outfit than that, honestly. Oh, we got a guest in our lobby. I forgot that's a thing you can do in this game. All right, me, me and this guest, we are gonna win and we are gonna use the chat menu to talk to me. Flash flood on this map? Flash flood and a tsunami on this map. Okay, that's um, sounds more like a death sentence to me. Yeah, we're just, we're just not making it out of this one. And keeping up with the theme of disasters, I thought we might as well try out some uh, Survive the Disasters. Not to be mistaken with Natural Disaster Survival, this is very much unnatural. As you can see from this Mountain Dew melting my whole body. And yeah, this is another iconic Roblox game. Maybe not as popular as Natural Disaster Survival, but I, I still expect a lot of comments from people who remember this game. Oh no, not this again. I can't lose to Mountain Dew twice in a row. I mean, look at how many victims it's claimed already. There we go, I should be safe up here. But yeah, I actually have uh, videos on my second channel of me actually playing this game back in the day. And my my dialogue throughout the video is about what you'd expect for the time period. Giant Elmo. Yeah, that's a giant Elmo, all right. Can I have that, please? How do I... There we go. You can have my chocolate milk. There are other things to worry about right now than chocolate milk. I like how everyone is using the safe chat in this server. Rock on! Oh, falling Tetris piece is my favorite. Okay, that is, yeah, I'm, I think I'm not going to go outside, actually. Oh, how did that kill me? Hole in the wall. I'm going to be playing the actual hole in the wall later in this video. Get my warm up in before that happens. Well, I think I'm just going to put turkey legs everywhere and we'll move on to the next game. And next up, we got some classic flood escape. I got to include this one because a lot of people were commenting it. I don't know what to expect. I haven't played this in forever, but I say we just get right into it here and let's just run some hard mode. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? All right, here we go. Press that. And this first bit is pretty easy. There we go. All right, we're all in. Let's go. All right, let's press that. We're, we're doing it, guys. Oh, okay, kind of kind of trolling right now, but we're good. We're already down to three out of five players. Not very optimal. Oh, okay. See, I'm not, I'm not quite sure how this map goes. I got this one. There we go. We're popping off right now. All right, find the code to escape. Oh, okay, well, they found the code, and we escaped. I didn't even have to do anything there. I just win. Okay, so I didn't love the fact that I was getting carried by people with gravity coils and stuff. So I've got my own VIP server and I'm just going to play some hard mode until I win. Hopefully I don't die instantly. So let's press this and I think I need to be up here. See, I've totally forgotten all these maps. So I'm just kind of fumbling around after I press a button, but I didn't die in the first room. So that's good. And what does this one do? Okay, it adds that bridge and I just need to press this. There we go. Don't die here. All right, nice. This is some gaming right now, I must say. I have no idea what that one did. I guess we'll find out. Water levels are getting quite concerning right now. Where the heck do I go? Do I do this? Nope. I think I'm just dead, guys. Well, that felt like a decent attempt, so I'm gonna try that again. Hopefully this time I get my victory royale. And we are good for this first room here. On to the next one. There we go. And all I have to do is just press this and we're good. Maybe, maybe we're good. Maybe I'm gonna die just in time. Okay, I'm not dead. Okay, I barely made it out alive. And this final level here, I just have to press this one. Make my way over here to press this one. There we go. All right. Okay, why wouldn't it let me jump off? I might not make it to the end here. Please. All right, nice. We're still in it. Oh, we are not in it anymore. Yeah, I'm just dead, right? I'm just dead, right guys? Oh, 
Okay, it turns out I do need 17 different teammates with gravity coils and speed coils because this is not going very well for me. Now, what do I even... Oh, okay. I felt a little bit too easy for that, but we'll take it. Okay, I'm just... I can't win here. The button's already underwater. That's that's good. That's really good, man. I should have just ignored the comments on this game. This has brought me nothing but pain and suffering. And I'm dead. I... Look at me go, guys. I'm actually... I actually made it out of the second room. Okay, I actually... I actually gotta lock in now. This is one of my furthest attempts yet. No real mistakes this time. Now I just gotta figure out this stupid code. Oh, okay. First one down. Can I just please get the other one? Okay, can I just get the other code, please? Can I just get the other code, please? Can I just get the other... Can I just get... Can I... Please let me out of this room. Thank you. All right, it's time to lose on the codes again. Hip, hip, hooray, am I right? All right, good start. All right, we have one. Oh, I actually won. Okay, well... That took me way too long, but you know what? I got a badge and I escaped the facility. We'll take it. Next up, we got Area 51. And more specifically, I'm playing the actual original map called Underground Base. And yeah, this is this is the spawning area here. We got two hangars and a truck that doesn't work. And yeah, pretty much the only option is to jump down here and explore the base. Now, I'm not actually sure if there's any monsters or anything in this version, but yeah, every every single Area 51 game on this website has just been using a slightly modified version of this map. Now, this version of the game is probably the one that you guys remember playing, or some other variation of it. This one uses the underground base map, except I'm getting lasered by this guy. And there are weapons in here. Now, is there anyone around here that I can shoot real quick. Next up we got Escape McDonald's Obby, which is not exactly what I expected to be a common answer on my community posts, but I guess it makes sense. I do remember this game being decently popular. And you know, this is just a standard Obby game. We've even got all of the new Roblox players who keep walking into the kill bricks. And yeah, I'm just, I'm pulling off the speed run of a lifetime right now. Why are there spinning knives? This doesn't quite fit the theme I had in my head of how Escape McDonald's Obby would go. Nice. And I win. I don't know why I did that entire obby, but whatever. Now I get to go to the McDonald's play place, at least. Next up, we got the Robloxian Water Park. I was seeing you guys mention this one a fair bit. This is another one that I haven't played in forever, but I did used to play this a bit and just generally be annoying to other people on. I swear this game used to have like a pool noodle that you could knock people over with. Maybe I'm just having a false memory. The blow dryer, we, we definitely used that one to kill people back in the day. And it looks like we have have someone who is just dead at the bottom of the pool. We literally have two life. Oh, there's the pool noodle. Oh, we're having a duel. These two are truly just fighting to the death right now. They're fighting for their lives. Oh, and he pulls out the blow dryer. What a move. He doesn't have a counter. Oh, looks like they've just decided to stop fighting. Look at this. Imagine if there was a water park like this in real life. I'm sure there's very high demand for such a thing to exist. Anyways, here we go. Let's go down the side. All right. So far, so good. I'm not very good at controlling this camera, but that's okay. And I hit the wall and broke my skull and died. The lifeguard just doesn't care about my dead body in the pool right now. All right, so this is be crushed by a speeding wall, and I'm going to show you what happens when the speeding wall crushes you or not. So yeah, the whole objective of this game is just to get to the end. It's very simple. You got these little hideouts in the walls here. Okay, that it's a little too close there. And yeah, I saw quite a few people commenting this game. It's been a very long time since I played this myself, so this is quite the throwback right now. And yeah, it's also a very easy game if you can get the timing right. Also, we've all got a paint bucket. I guess there's a canvas over here you can draw on. Oh, there's several. I'm gonna draw a YouTube because that's what I'm doing right now. All right, there we go. That's that's the YouTube logo right there. Perfectly replicated by me. You know what? Maybe I could... There we go. That's better. Okay, so this is Build to Survive the Zombies. Pretty self-explanatory. You, you got the stamper tool on the left here, and you got your own plot of land. You can just build whatever, whatever you need to protect yourself from the zombies. I'm just going to make a very standard brick house. There are saw zombies. Well, I'm just going to... I'm going to build a little ramp here. Oh, oh, they just jumped over my wall. I was, I was not anticipating this. Build! 
All right, I'm good. Yeah, I think the whole server is just doing the same thing as me right now. Well, the zombies will stop in three seconds. And the zombies have stopped. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, there's just chairs appearing. You know what? If it works, it works. There's so much stuff in here that it's there's just no way it doesn't work. The zombies are just not going to have a clue what to do. This person's got spikes everywhere and a bunch of wedges. Oh, they're just building to the sky. Looks like this guy is actually trying to build a house here. This person's got a base going on here. I think you two are the only people who are actually trying to build something in this server and everyone else is just putting stuff everywhere. There are flying zombies. Just, uh, can you... T oh. I didn't mean to touch the spikes. All right, next up we got some hole in the wall action, as I mentioned earlier. And I haven't played this one in a very long time. And this game is actually still quite popular to this day. It's got about 400 players on it right now. I'm feeling a bit bad for blue team right now. This is a 1v4v4 and we're up. All right, this one's pretty free. Can't imagine any of us would mess this one up. And there we go. We all pass. That's huge points for our team. Let's see what the one member of blue team will do here. All right, he has to do some quick math. Let's see if he goes... Nope, it's it's not... It's not quite... Not quite that. That's all right. Let's, let's see what the yellow team can do here. Okay, they just have to stand in the middle, and they should be good. All right, nice. And we win, okay. All right, and we're already on to the next game. I like how this game has very little downtime. It's just on to the next round constantly. And I'm up. Let's see what I get here. I have to memorize. Okay, I think it was, uh, I think it was right here. Yeah, nice. Oh no, Gasford 14. I don't know if you're gonna do this one, man. Well, he tried. That's what counts. Honestly, he almost had it there. All right, and we're on to the team rounds. Let's see what kind of... Okay, well, that's a free 40 points. I'm gonna sit down for this one. Wait, how did one of us fail that? All right, whatever. We still have a massive lead, and this is not looking good for the blue team right now. Let's see if any of them pull it off. Okay, we got one clear. And let's see what yellow gets. Okay, well, they get a pretty easy one, but it's literally impossible for them to win. Our lead is too big. We did it, guys. And it's all thanks to our great skill, of course. Next up, we got some jailbreak action, if you can believe it. I literally haven't played this in five years on this channel, and that was probably the last time I played it in general. This place looks very different now, but I want to play it here today because obviously people have claimed this to be their first Roblox game that they ever played. Now, I kind of just wanted to talk about what it was like on uh, day one of jailbreak. I I think there were only a couple methods to escape the prison. Like, obviously, you could punch this box and uh, steal a key card. And I think there was a door in the cafeteria as well. Now there's like manhole covers. And I also walked into this vent earlier. Wait, you can roll now? I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. Anyways, let's let's get out of here the old fashioned way. Do I have to do some parkour? Okay, that's interesting. Well, this bit is still here, which is good. Yeah, it's uh, still easy as ever to break out of prison. Now, when I played Jailbreak on day one, it had like about 500 players, I'd say. And I was I was in a server, I forget who was in it. I think there was a couple of like big developers and stuff, probably some YouTubers as well. And let me let me tell you, that server was extremely sweaty. Like, I was just not getting out of prison, which was not a great time for me because most of the content in Jailbreak is away from the prison, unlike the other prison games that were popular on Roblox at the time. But yeah, I just remember like, Everyone on Twitter was so excited for Jailbreak. I definitely say it was a bit of a revolutionary game for its time. I think they just added the trains when I stopped playing. I actually tried doing a video with my viewers where we just put a bunch of cars in the tunnel and waited for the train to just crash into them. I didn't end up uploading it because the audio was really messed up. I want to see if the old criminal base is still there. Oh, did they close it off? Can I just break through this? Oh, I can. Okay, this tunnel is way longer than I remember it being. Well, this is how I remember it, kind of. This floor is very different, and I don't remember the lava being like that. Uh, otherwise, it's the same same base. What else did they add then? There's like a whole other bit of the map over here. It's just straight up another city and another police base, I guess. It's pretty cool. Now I can't end this segment without killing a police officer, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do that real quick. I see one. Oh, he's going into the museum. Oh, he's right behind me. Well, he's not exactly winning this fight right now. 
And there we go. Also, if you want to leave a comment on this video with the first game that you ever played, feel free to do so because I'm only able to play a small handful here today. But yeah, with that being said, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the video. Goodbye.